in this video, I'll show you how to add mixed numbers in two different ways. So let me tell you the easy way first. Whenever we have to add the mixed number, we we gonna separate the whole part first and then the fractional part. Which one is our whole part? Two and three. So these are the two whole numbers. First of all, we'll add the whole numbers. So two plus three is equal to five. Now we had to add the fractional part. For the fraction part, we have one over three plus one over six. So what we have to do now, what do you notice here? is we have different denominators. Whenever you have different denominators, you have to make the denominators equal. Then only you can add the fractions. So what do I multiply in this fraction to make the denominator equal to six? I can multiply this fraction by two over two. Now what you see that I have multiplied this fraction with, uh, with two uh, in the numerator and the denominator. Why I did that because uh, if you notice that, I just have multiplied 1 over 3 by 1 because 2 over 2 is also equal to 1. So mathematically, I have not changed the value of this fraction, but I'm only trying to make the denominators equal. Now, I have to multiply the numerators and the denominators. So 1 times 2 will be 2 and 3 times 2 will be 6. So I have 2 over 6 and then plus 1 over 6. Now I have to add the numerators. I'm going to add numerators. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then you don't add the denominator. So denominator will still remain 6. Now what do you see in this? 3 over 6 is not in the simplest form because uh, uh, they're not in the simplest form. So we can reduce it. We can reduce it by dividing it uh, with a number which is divisible by both 3 and 6. So let's begin with 2. If you divide 3 and 6 by 2, actually 6 is divisible, uh, two is uh, 6 is divisible by 2, but 3 is not divisible by 2. So we can divide the fraction by 2. Now let's think about the next number, which is 3. So 3 is divisible by 3, and 6 is also divisible by 3. That means 3 will work. So we'll divide this fraction by 3 over 3. Again, I'm dividing this fraction by 3 over 3. 3 over 3 is equal to 1. So mathematically, I have not changed the value of this fraction. I'm just trying to reduce this fraction to the simplest form. So 3 divided by 3 will be 1. And 6 divided by 3 will be 2. So now I have my fractional part and I also have my whole part. So I will write that together. So I have the whole part, which is 5. And I have the fractional part, which is 1 over 2. That means my final answer is 5, 1 over 2. Now let's, uh, uh, let's try to add the mixed numbers in a different way and we'll check if we get the same answer in both the situations. So uh, the another way to solve it is you change the mixed number into improper fraction first. Now what do you mean by improper fraction? Improper fraction is when the numerator is greater than the denominator, that is called the improper fraction. And when you convert a mixed number into a, uh, to a fraction, you always uh, get the uh, improper fraction because you're multiplying these two and then adding to the numerator. So how to change this into fraction first is you multiply the denominator with the whole part. You multiply the denominator with the whole part. So 3 times 2 will give you 6. And then you add it to the numerator. You add your answer to the numerator. So 6 plus 1 will be 7. So I will get 7 for the numerator. And then the denominator still remains the same, which is 3. Now, I'll put the plus sign in between. Again, I have to change this mixed number into a fraction. So what I'm going to do is I will multiply my denominator with the whole part first. So 6 times 3 will be 18. And I have to add 18 to my numerator. My numerator is 1. So 18 plus 1 will be 19. And then I still have 6 for the denominator, which it's not going to change. 
Now, what do you notice in these two? Again, we have different denominators, so we have to try to make the denominators equal. What do I multiply in this fraction to make the denominator equal to 6? I can multiply this fraction by 2 over 2. So let's multiply this by 2 over 2. Okay, so... <clears throat> Again, you see that I have multiplied this fraction by 2 over 2. That means I've multiplied it by 1. I've not changed the value of 7 over 3. It still remains 7 over 3. Now, you multiply the numerators. 2 times 7 will be 14. And then 3 times 2 will be 6. And I have the plus sign. And I have 19 over 6. Now, I have same denominators. I have like denominators. I can add the numerators. So... 14 plus 19 will be, 19 plus 10 will be 29, and 29 plus 4 will be 33. So I have 33 divided by 6. Now you see that this fraction is not in the simplest form, so we can try to reduce this fraction into simplest form. So we're going to divide 33 and 6 by a number which is divisible by both. So let's talk about 2. Let's begin with 2. Now, 33 is not completely divisible by 2, but it's divisible by 6. But we can take it because uh, the same number has to be divisible by both. Let's think about uh, the next number, which is 3. Now, 33 is divisible by 3, and uh, 6 is also divisible by 3, right? So we're going to divide this by 3 on top and also on bottom. So that we don't change the value of the fraction. The value of the fraction still remains 33 over 6 because we are just dividing that by 1. Now 33 divided by 3 will be, that will be 11. And then 6 divided by 3 will be 2. Now this time I have 11 over 2. Now you'll see, uh, you see that this is a fraction. And here we have got the mixed number. And the question is also a mixed number. So what we will do is, it's always a good habit to change the answer into the form of a question. So uh, the question and answer has to be in the same form. If the question is a mixed number, then you have to change your answer to a mixed number. If the question is a fraction, then your answer should be in fraction. So uh, I have fraction here and my question is a mixed number. So I will change my answer into the mixed number. So what? How do you change a fraction into a mixed number? You just simply divide. So sorry, 11 divided by 2. How many times does 11 go into 2? 2 times 5 will be 10. I have to subtract 10 from 11. 1 minus 0 will be 1 and 1 minus 1 will be 0. So I have, how do I write this in mixed uh, number? So I'll write my answer on the top first. This will be my whole part. 5 becomes my whole part. And for the fractional part, a remainder goes on the top and then the divisor goes at the bottom. So this becomes my numerator and this becomes my denominator. So I will write 1 on top and then 2 on the bottom. So my answer is again 5, uh, 1 over 2. So you still have the same answer, but I showed you two different methods to solve. You can pick one which you're more comfortable with. Uh, this method is easier, but this is uh, uh, this method is like it's a you can use the same method by changing always a mixed number to an improper fraction, and you don't have to remember anything else. So this method works for those people who can't remember more than one methods, and this is uh, more easier to do it.